the Saronian thank you yes the book of first the Saronian chapter 4 the book of first the Saronian chapter 4 we read from verse 1 up to verse 8 and I hope that the Lord will bless this word. Amen. Finally, then, brethren, we urge and exhort in the Lord Jesus that you should abound more and more, just as you received from us how you ought to walk, to praise God, for you know what commandments we gave you through the Lord Jesus Christ. For this is the will of God, your sanctification and this sanctification now is qualified that you should abstain from sexual immorality that each one of you should know how to possess his own vessel in sanctification and honor not in passion of lust like the gentiles who do not know God that no one should take advantage of or defraud his brother in this matter because the Lord is the avenger of all such as we also forewarned you and testify. For God did not call us to uncleanness, but in holiness. Therefore, he who rejects this does not reject man, but God who has given us his Holy Spirit. Praise God. We, we go forward, we go to Second Timothy. Second Timothy chapter 2 and verse 20. Second Timothy chapter 2 and verse from verse 20 there are, uh, but in a great house they are not only vessels of gold and silver but are also of wood and clay some for honor and some for dishonor therefore if anyone cleanses himself from the latter he will be a vessel of honor sanctified and useful for the masters prepared for every good work praise be to God may the Lord bless the reading of his word Amen. This uh, afternoon, I want to talk about guarding your vessel. Taking care of your vessel. What is a vessel? A vessel is a container of, uh, that can hold liquid or other substances. And as a person, you are a container. You have qualities of a container. I'm having a bottle here of water. This is a container that is holding water. And you as a believer, you as a, as a person, you have the characteristics of a vessel. Inside you, there are things that are there. Amen. Just like this bottle has water. Also you as a child of God, you are a container. You carry some things that are divine. You carry some things that are very holy. Amen. And I want to say this, number one. All vessels are not the same. All vessels are not the same. Paul is saying, in a house, there are vessels of different use. There are vessels of different shapes. All vessels are not the same. Because we were never created for the same purpose. There is a bo this bottle can hold cold water. But if you ukiweka majimoto, this bottle may collapse. It may melt. Amen. There are, there are vessels that are, that, that are made with elasticity. They can become bigger. But there are others that are fixed. Amen. Number two, a vessel is defined by what it contains. Hallelujah. And I want to add there, the value of the vessel is based on what it carries. The value of the vessel is based on what it carries. If you go ukienda kwa duka, unasemanga uuziwe maji, chupa ama uuziwe maji. Maji. Huwa unawekewa maji kwa pam ama unapeangwa ikiwa pamoja na chupa. So ni nini huwa unanunua? You know, I'm talking about guarding your vessel. Amen. Ukiingia kwa duka. 
Unasemanga ni uzie maji. Na maji haikuji peke yake inakujanga na chupa. So what do you buy from the shop? <laughs> the water. But it doesn't come alone, isn't it? You know, but my brother, your value is based on what you carry. After you, you this, this water, we can't just throw it in how, isn't it? Because it's water that has cost us as money and it is meant to drink. But after, after you drink the water, pastor, do you still keep the, the bottle in your drawer? Hey. After you drink the water, do you put the, 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 the bottle in, a, in your hard bag? Why? Because me, I'm talking about guarding your vessel. Because inside that vessel, there are things of value. There are divine things that are there that need to be protected. Because you are defined by what you carry. So if, 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 if we finish drinking water, this bottle becomes a toy for children. It can even become a ball that you may find boys kicking it. Amen. You may find it in the dusty bin. Because its value is because of the content in it. So as a Christian, you need to know that inside you, there are things you carry that are so divine that you must protect it. The minute you define it, the minute you spoil it, your value will go down. Amen. I know you want to tell me God loves us. Yes, he do. He, but let me tell you, know that they are, they, are, they are the children of God and they are the people of God. Amen. So as a child of God, I want you to remember, because of the content of this bottle, this bottle is in the church today. Amen. Let me use Fanta. Because of the container in the Fanta or Coca-Cola, that soda can find itself here and it can find itself in the state house. Say my amen. Because of what is inside, isn't it? So, and you see, Proverbs says, your gift will make room for you before big people. It is the content in you. It is the gift in you. It is what you carry that open doors for you. And that is why Paul is saying in 1 Thessalonians, he's saying, guard your vessel. Amen. Because the vessel that you are can find itself before great men. Hallelujah. The vessel you are, because of what you carry, you are defined. You can either be honorable or dishonorable. Amen. The other thing, as the children of God, we choose what to contain. We make a choice. Paul is saying, he's telling the Saronian, purge yourself. Jitakazeni, purge yourself. He says, for this is the will of God, your certification. It is a choice you make that this vessel I will not defile it. It is a choice you make, I will keep this vessel clean. Amen. You know, one time when I went to the NYS, one of the things I realized, men can be dirty. Men can be dirty. Unless they have the Holy Spirit. Ah, men in the house, hallelujah. You, you enter into a hall, a barrack, and mwanaume anatoa kiatu, unashangaa hii ni nini jameni. Unakuta hiyo mgu, haija oshwa. Kwa siku katha. Unajua, I have seen ladies, they can take showers time and again. Like now when it is cold, men are saying, ah, hata sija sweat sana. <laughs> but let me tell you, brethren, that was by the way. You choose what to contain. Amen. Paul is telling, the, 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 is telling Timothy, if you make a choice to cleanse yourself, you become a vessel of honor. Amen. It's a choice we are going to make, brethren, that as we walk with the Lord, that we will purge, we will cleanse ourselves, we will take ourselves to the cross of Jesus that we may be sanctified, that we become vessels of honor. Amen. Let me tell you, brethren, 
I don't know whether you have met somebody who was a believer and he decided to go back. I don't know whether you have been able to, to meet one and compare the two pictures. You meet that person and really he has been beaten up by life. Because when you defile what you carry, that is of God, you defile it, the devil takes charge of your life. But Paul is saying, you make a choice what you carry. You sanctify yourself. You purge yourself. Unajitakaza. Unajipereka katika musalaba. That you may be sanctified for good work. Amen. And let me say this. You are responsible of what comes into your life. Amen. You, you are not like a bottle that can buy, an empty bottle can buy paraffin. It can buy cooking oil, isn't it? These days they are even uh, measuring and weighing the oil, the, cook, the liquid cooking oil, according to the amount you need, isn't it? You, you are not like that. You have the will. You have been given will by God. To say no to all things that are not righteous. Amen. So you are going to make it. Because let me tell you brethren. God is looking for holy people. Amen. God is looking for a sanctified vessel to use. I'm not saying for a perfect vessel. I told you we are not perfect. But we are forgiven. Hallelujah. God is looking for a vessel. That is holy. That has been sanctified. And you make a choice. It is your responsibility. For what get poured into your life. This is what Proverbs 4, uh, 4.23 says. Proverbs 4. You make a choice. What, what comes into you? 4.23. Keep your heart with all diligence. For out of it spring the issues of life. You guard your heart. Amen. You guard your life. Remember, what you see affects the vessel. What you hear affects the vessel. What you eat affects the vessel. Amen. It's a choice you are going to make that you are going to keep this vessel holy for God. It's a choice you are going to make that this vessel, you keep it holy as a habitation for God. Paul was told Timothy, free from sexual immorality, free for many lustful, uh, youth lustful uh, desires. It is a choice we are making, brethren. We have so many Christians that are living double lives. And because we are not the Holy Spirit, we may not know. But God knows. Amen. It's a choice we are going to make. I was listening to a preacher this morning. And he said... They were in a, in a prayer meeting and women were competing who to prophesy. And as they were competing, one woman slapped the other one. Na akamtukana. We kimia. Ngombe hi. Imagine they are competing to prophesy. Voices is equal to you. And one of them slapped the other. Na akamwambia we kimya ngombe hii. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. You cannot wonder is that prophecy really? Is there a prophecy that going to a heart that can abuse? Is that a heart that really hab God habitates there? Because the Bible says out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaks. So there is a lot of pretense in the church. There is a lot of pretense among the believers. How can two people who are saying they have heard from God and one of them is abusing without a drinking? So you guard your vessel. You choose what you keep in your heart. Amen. And one thing I said is that your heart is so small that you can't keep us in your heart. If we offend you, the best you can do is to forgive us and move on. So that you don't get offended. Because offended, if you are offended, you offend other people. Amen. A hurting brother will hurt other brothers. Amen. A hurting sister will hurt other sisters and brothers. Because what you carry is what you be emitting. What you have put in your heart. If you are angry, 
You know, recently I was praying for a lady who had been uh, cheated. She didn't know very well that she is a second wife. All through, she knew that she is the number one. And she realized one day that the, the so-called husband or boyfriend or whatever name was going to take the dowry to, the, to, to, to another wife, to another woman. Little did she know that that man had three children. That man had a home, a beautiful home. So when she realized, she took a knife and she wanted to kill herself. And the mother was close and she went and snatched the knife and she was brought to me. And when I listened to her, she was full of anger. She was saying, Pastor, I must revenge. For three years, I've done all a woman can do to that man. I've rebelled. I told her, but you are, you, 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 you are cheated. Has he ever taken you? Have you ever been to their home? No. Do you know are there any of their people? No. Then you also have a kasoro hapa. For three years, unalipiwa nyumba, na unapewa kira kitu, and you think this man belongs to you alone, and you don't know their mother, you don't know his father, you don't know his brothers, ata we ukona kasoro. And as she was saying she is going to revenge, she said, Pastor, if I'm not going to revenge, I'm going to die. And me, I looked to her straight and told her, my sister, one, you are full of foolishness in you. Number two, you are blinded by infatuation, not love. And number three, the money of the man. You married the money, not the man. You married his wealth. So, even if you kill yourself, that man will look for another woman, a second one. Because your death will not make him not to marry another one. So you better leave and ask God for a husband. And that girl screamed. I remember we were building a church. So there were many people that were mafundis. That girl screamed. Everybody thought either I have slapped her. So there was those who came to check what is happening. And they found the girl holding her, her fist. And I told the devil, come out. Because that's the spirit of revenge. And you see, when she screamed, and I prayed for her, she woke up and she told me, Pastor, I'm going to leave. Because if you are having offense, you have tendency of a suicide. What in your heart matters very much? Praise be to God. So make a choice. What you keep in your heart. Let the love of God engulf your heart. Amen. So it is your responsibility to check what gets into your mind. If you know people who are rumamongering about you, by the way, just keep away from them. Allow them to make news with the false report. Amen. So it is your responsibility. Guard your heart. Hallelujah. What we read, what we see, determine the value of our vessel. Hallelujah. To determine the value of our vessel. In the morning I said, we need to be discipled brethren. The way we are making decisions, when we look at the decisions we are making, is an indication that we do not know God. Because our decisions are influenced by what we have in our hearts. I give this testimony. One time I, I, I was having a lot of struggle. And my elder brother looked at me and realized this man needs a new shoe. And my brother went to one of the factory closer to our home that makes shoes. And somehow they were able to get the boot, the safari boot. So when I came home, he brought a new safari boot and he told me it is only 600. I asked him, safari boot, 600. How did you get it at 600? And you know what he told me? Shidae ni watu wa kuokoka. Ni kufuata mambo sana. Siwe unahitaji kiatu. Let me ya sita wachana na kiatu. Nikamwambia hapana. The source is very important. And you know what he told me? These shoes are stolen from the shop. Uh, not from the factory. By ladies. So they get 
two of them will share how one will put the shoe between her legs and one side is sneaked out. Another one will have another one. So when they are being frisked, nobody touches between the legs. And that's how the shoe was got. And I told her, my brother, yes, I am in need, but this shoe I will not put on. It will depend on the values that you have. And he was there, he, he lamented the whole night. She dia watu wa kuokoka. Muna okokanga mpaka wakati Mungu ana muujiza inapatikana. Nyinyi muna katikombe hii si muujiza hii ni wizi. Can you imagine me putting that shoe as a pastor? And I can remember the way it was. You can you look at that picture. And I'm here telling you God is God of love. He is the God of miracle. The enemy will be asking, hata hiyo iko kwa Mungu ni miracle. You make a choice based on your values. Amen. You know, I've seen these days, people, even Christian, are bribing to get jobs. They, they are saying, see, evil kuna endelea. Haku endelea evil. You are just being informed by the world system. And you know, the enemy, the uh, 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 friendship with the world is an enmity with God. It is a choice we have made. The other day I was arrested in, 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 in Ivasha for speeding. And they decided if I'm, don't, I'm not going to give 3,000, they are taking me to court. I told them, sir, you have two options. You either forgive me or take me to court. Can I be on a job to pick up five years, 30,000? There's going to be no problem. No problem. And I was arrested before nine in the morning. I was taken to court at around 12 30. They kept me at the, at the, at the junction entering uh, Naivasha where they have the speed, uh, the speed guys. They kept me here from before 9 up to 12, around 20. And they would come and say, umesemaje dereva, nikamwambia unisamehe ama kotini. And let me tell you, I was carrying, my, we were going to bury a son of, our, of our, one of our brothers. And I had the chorus. I was in full attire. And they were there, mze dereva umesemaje, kambia, Mambo ni mawili. Wacha hili ya ruto mambo matatu. Mambo ni mawili. Unisamehe ama tuende koti. So at 12.20 I was taken to court. And they took me straight into the cell. You know the waiting cell. I don't know if you have, you have been in the court. There is always a, pre, a, a waiting place. And I found drunkards. People that were arrested uh, we hours of the morning. None of, none of them had been taken to court. The judge had a thing was right. And there we were. Guys were vomiting. Others were urinating everywhere. The place was stinking. And one of them asked me, Pastor, at where you let what happen? You know, your values will take, by the way, you will suffer what, for what you carry. Amen. And I was there. And at around 12.40, we were called and we were taken in. And the people were fined. 30, 15. And as I was there, I had my phone here. I sent to the chairman of the church. I told him, prepare 30,000. I'm in a black spot. And I was there. And everybody was uh, fined. Even we were with one Muzungu who writes in the nation about love. He was also fined. And I was left alone. And the judge asked the prosecutor, who you know I'm a nini? I was like, what is your name? The form was not there. I don't know where he went and came with the phone, the charge sheet. And there I was, I speeding by about three, I don't know what, per hour. And I didn't know that the judge knew me. Niri kuambia uta jificha. Wacha, wacha hii kujivanya. Hata ukiva ufunge hapa na uweke gogos. I didn't know that the lady knew me. And she asked me, where, where are you heading, Nyahururu? She asked many questions, and I don't know her, but she knew me, and she wrote, you have been uh, 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 released at the masses of the court. I don't know, I didn't know there is such a law. And when I got out, the, 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 the traffic guy followed me. Hata huyo ni mushirika wako. Let me tell you, brother, you, you, I didn't know, I was released at a minute to one, and they ridiculed me. I asked him, where is my driving license? I don't care. I told me, you would care. 
because I don't be, I'm not a property of the Kenya police when I'm here and the property of judiciary of Kenya go and look for it there and me I went in a big cattle and I poured everything on the ground on the floor and I looked for driving license and got it let me tell you brethren when you stand up for who you are God will defend you I didn't know that ready and later after about a month I met someone I told me so and so told me you, are, you met in this place Come here. yes I was in Naivasha that person you met there is my spouse but what this is somebody that I have helped this is somebody that we relate the way unakutananga na watu hapa mwambia pastor si unipatia lift nifika unamwambia ingia let me tell you you better stand for god he will defend you you better guard the vessel hallelujah when you guard the vessel the grace of god will be there to see you through amen you know paul is telling the saronian guard the vessel do not what are the things that defile the vessel let's go there what are some of the things that defile the vessels paul is giving them there Paul is giving them there. Father Thessalonian chapter 4. What are some of the things that define the vessel? Number one. What are the dividers? Sexual immorality. This can come in many forms. It can be fornication. It can be mipango ya kando. It can be pornography. It can be masturbation. People have many ways of sex, doing sexual immorality. Hmm. Number verse 5 is talk not in the passion of lust. Tama. These days, what work on a tama? Utakuta mutu wa meshiko akitafuta the habu. A friend of mine lost 700,000. Ameambua kuna dhahabu ni busia sijui wapi kakamega somewhere na akaenda akakuja na chupa. Akaniambia pastor nimeomoka. Kaambia gold. Chupa mzima. Hii e, hii ni gold, hii e, ni gold. Akaenda corner house. Akaambua hizi ni chupa zimevunja vunjwa na zimewekwa turangi kidogo tuna meta meta 700 zikaenda sababu ya tamaa the other one ameletewa vitu zimefungwa pia na chupa anaambiwa the, the, uh, something like coal or something it was in black bottle na akaambiwa moja ni 27000 kununua kuuza unaiuza mara mbili na mama akaitisha aka mzee wake 50000 akachukua mbili na akaweka kwa ofisi na akaambiwa kuna watu wanakuja kuichukua ikakaa siku mbili ya tatu akaamua kuangalia chupa akakuta ni oil ya gari mzee tamaa look at the way we have gotten into betting betting it is being driven by lust and gambling we think we can get money is through luck our god is not a god of luck and i have prayed that you people who are in in in, in betting and gambling and rotary may you not get any win so that you seek the word of god because god say he will bless the work of our hands he didn't say we go to bed he didn't say we go to kujar bahati nasibu so i've been praying that christian unless you take the word of god may you continue losing until you know that's not the way god is going to bless you God has a way. He says, work. Work. And it, Paul said, if you don't work, you not eat. And he's sitting down a whole day and betting and uh, eh, pressing bet. You think that is work? Look at those people who are betting. Some of them are becoming obese. Eating. My son did a research about the betting and the gambling rooms. And they found is a whole is a document that is written they found that that the adrenaline level the adrenaline level in the betting is like drinking people are getting addicted and when they are looking for that thing 
the level of expectation goes up and many of them are overeating many of them are not taking care of themselves many of them are getting confused so brother if you are here know that that vessel that you are can be defiled by gabori you are not you don't belong to that crab praise god it's about lust paul says again uh, uh, the, uh, he says not in the passion of lust like the gentle who do not know God. Amen. Number six, that no one should take advantage and defraud his brother or his sister. We have people who are defrauding one another. Unatupatia kastori, vino unataka kuenda Dubai, na hakuna Dubai unataka kuenda. Ni pesa tu unataka kutukopa. By the way, these days we are not uh, uh, hatukopeshi wandugu, tunawapatia kile tunaweza. Ili tusifunja uziano. Sababu ukiwakopesha wakishindwa na kulipa wanahama kanisa na wanabadilisha na, na raini ya simu. So ili tusiingie kwa shida kama unataka 1000 na niko na bidii na kupatia kuambia Mungu akubariki Anthony. Mungu akubariki. Sababu nikikupatia kumi ya kukukopesha hata kanisa utatoka. And there are some people who are defrauding. We are defrauding one another in the house of the Lord. And we end up cheating. We end up lying. May the Lord deliver you. Praise God. Wachana na hustler fans. Wachana na mswadi. Sababu wengi tunakopa na hatulipi. Let me tell you, this Kenya, you know to hide. So wrong at use your ID number. When I left university, I paid loan in help for around eight years. Then I disappeared from the government system. I decided no. And I decided, ah, let me tell you, after nine years, somehow, I taught in Jomo Kenyatta. And when Jomo Kenyatta paid the payee, help got my number. The current number. And I received a letter from a credit, what, what a, debt correctors. A big letter. If you don't pay this money, we are coming for you. And we know you are teaching in this school. We are coming for your salary. Then I wondered, how did they get to know me? And I realized, Jomo Kenyatta paid the pay as you earn. And the, the help were able to get my current phone numbers. Let me tell you, Ujifichi. So don't defraud the government. Pay. Pay. Don't defraud brothers. So Paul is saying that no one should take advantage or defraud his brother. Because they are, the Lord is avenger. Praise be to God. Verse 7. God did not call us unto uncleanness, but into holiness. Anything, can def, anything that can defile the vessel, keep away from it. Praise be to God. We have a calling. We have a mandate to take care of our vessels. To take care of our bodies. Amen. So that God can use us to fulfill his purpose in our generation. Banayesos if you will. I want to finish by saying, brethren, that sanctification of the vessel is not easy. Because the mind, your thinking must be cleansed. Your desire must be in line with God. But it's a surrender yourself to the Lord and he will make you a vessel of honor. Praise be to God. It is my desire, brethren, as we serve God in Malsabit or wherever we will be, we will make a choice that I will be the temple of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I will be the temple. Wherever I will be, I will be the temple of the Holy Spirit. Praise be to God. May the Lord bless you. Let's stand upon our feet. Taking care of our vessels. Some vessels may be broken. But let me tell you, the Lord is able to mend